Living the retired life in the Philippines, you'll learn that one of the hardest decisions you'll have to ever make is what you're going to do on any given day. And I've learned never to plan more than one thing a day. Today I can go to the beach, or I can go to the beach. I'm heading to the beach. I just arrived at Malahog Beach. I stopped in at the uh, zip line, which is still not open yet. Um, but now they're telling me uh, it might be sometime after the election. Um, 200 peso entry fee. One of the questions that has come up on the blog is. What if you're not in shape to climb 837 steps and you can't make it all the way to the top? Do you get your refund? Well, after pulling teeth, um, the answer seems to be yes, you can get a refund. If you don't make it to the zip line for 200 pesos, you might get a refund. I'll leave it at that. You might get a refund. And I've taken some still photos of this before, but uh, since I've been here, the resort had just started under construction. It looks like I've got uh, quite a bit done. Also the entrance to Malahog Beach. It used to be you just drove through here and parked and walked right onto the beach. I'm not sure how the new hotel being here um, is going to handle that. They're going to probably want uh, passage rights. In other words, if you've got to come through the resort to get to the beach, they're probably going to charge you 50 pesos for beach access. Either that or folks are going to have to find another way around. Here you can see the uh, they've got one floor done and it, typically it doesn't look anything like the rendition. The rendition shows a three-story structure. This just looks like a uh, kind of like a uh, rendition of the Bates Motel from the movie. I'm going to take a, a walk to the beach here to check out what's going on. It's early, it's Sunday, about 10 o'clock in the morning. Things are just getting wound up. Uh, there's a few people at the beach here. Uh, you see the party barges out there. There's three of them. That big one there on the, on the left rents for 1,500 pesos a day. And while I've never been on one, they say the big one has a comfort room on board. There's the island where the zip line is actually going to terminate at and it originates back up uh, up on the hill here but nobody's zipping today a while back I jokingly asked one of the zipline attendants if I could get a discount if I swam back and uh, no <laughs> that was a simple answer um, this could be a crowded day at the beach here there's looks like there's some partying going on some people are eating food already um, it's a nice breezy day. Um, spaghetti for lunch. I see that. Oh, you see this? Is it a birthday party? Huh? Yeah. You want oh. to drink with us? Drink with us? Otter. Drink with us? Otter. Otter, maybe. Okay. Oh, well, at least while well, that was a tempting proposition, uh, and I don't have nothing else to do today, I just don't feel like I need a Tandawai headache. So I headed home and took some video, and uh, I'll grab me a beer at home. At least that way I don't have to deal with drinking and dodging killer buses on the highway. Thanks for watching.